Two Alabamas. <laughs> Makers of five walls. Since 382. BC. Jacob, which is your, in front, which is your wand down, the right hand or the left? Excellent. Well, you may know that every Alabama wand has a core of a powerful magical substance. We use unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and the heart strings of dragons. And no two Alabama wands are the same. Just as no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same. And of course, you should never get such good results. Another wizard's wand. Here. We use only the finest elements in our wands. Most importantly, only a few particular types of wood are of wand quality. This particular wand is made of maple, 12 inches long, sturdy, with a unicorn hair core. It's a little dark in here. I was hoping you might brighten the place up a bit. Hold your wand straight up and light the tip by saying the word Lumos. <laughs> Meteorologinx! Recon That is not the one for you, Jacob. <laughs> not to worry. We're going to find you the proper one. Perhaps you wonder... Twelve inches long. Soft and pliable with a unicorn hair core. There are some flowers in the corner. Let's bring them down here to the desk. Point your wand and say, Descendo flowers. Descendo flowers. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting closer. <laughs> You're just a bit of a tricky customer, aren't you, Jacob? Uh, Yes, of course! A wand of poplar, 13 inches long, dependable, with a dragon heartstring core. <laughs> Jacob, that is the perfect fit. This wand has chosen you, and it is made of poplar. Perfect for a wizard of great strength and great integrity. Maya, the among your friends. My assistant is going to answer any questions you have concerning your wand options. But remember, Jacob, this wand has chosen you, and you alone. The wand learns from the wizard, and the wizard from the wand. Yes? Excellent. Use its power wisely. Off you go. Family, you may join Jacob in the shop next door. Come right this way.